Yeah. I don't have any. You want to you pat me down and see if I have any weapons on me? Would you that make you... allow me to pat you down? If that would make the big man no. with the gun feel better, I will. Yes, I'll let you. You want to look? To nothing on me. No weapons, okay? But you're not going to tell me I can't walk behind you. What are you out of your mind? Yes, I can. No, you can't. For my safety. Well, then make me move. Okay. I'm challenging you. Make me move. How's it going, guys? I'm again to press. Coming to you today from the Aurora Municipal Center in Aurora, Colorado. I am out with Watching the Watchmen, and uh, we're gonna go inside and see if these folks here at the Aurora Municipal Center honor and respect our right to take photographs and video in public from publicly accessible areas of government buildings and uh, public property. Time and temperature check. Today is Wednesday, December 18th at 1.45 in the afternoon and it is 58 degrees. Beautiful out today. Yeah. Dark in here. here the city council chamber elevators security desk <clears throat> we have tax and licensing Water billing. Cashier. They're short on experience. So here we have the uh, office of the city clerk. says, please ring bell for service. Hi, how are you? How are you guys? Good, good. Smells like someone's having a party. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Happy holidays to you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Jason. This is my son, Ben. Nice to meet you. And we're just taking a look at your beautiful building here. And I just came in to ask if you could tell me what your name is and what you're doing, what this office does. Actually, the city clerk is right here. I can grab him for you. Sure. Be the that would be excellent. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Get to meet the city clerk. And here's their mission statement. City clerk's office is committed to providing excellent customer service to our diverse community through communication, trust, professionalism, respect, and accountability. Hey, how are you? Good. How can I help you? Good. My name's Jason. Hi, Jason. I hear you're the city clerk, Steve. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. 
This is my son, Ben. Nice to meet you guys. What can I do for you? So we're just taking a look at your building. Okay. And I uh, came in to just ask uh, whoever was at the desk here, but I guess we got lucky enough we're to get the... We're doing our holiday party right now, so, so we'll, I apologize there's no one up here. No, that's okay. We'll let you get right back yeah. to it. We just wanted to ask uh, what you do in this office and, yeah. uh, you know, if you well, can give us an idea. We're the city clerk, so we run elections. We manage the city's vital records. We also do council support and do all the agenda preparation for council meetings. Okay. And then we also manage the city's 30 boards and commissions. So 30 boards and commissions? 30 boards and commissions. Wow. So we have a lot of them. That sounds like a lot yeah so barb who you just met she's our boards and commissions coordinator as okay part of her job so uh she has a tough job of uh, coordinating the appointments of over 400 people so, wow so yeah so we we do all of that here in this office and we're very public facing as you know um but we definitely you know try to be as responsive as we can to citizens and our job is to facilitate really external and internal customer service so we work with our records folks uh, from the various departments internally but we also do a lot with the city i love when citizens like you all come in because our job is to, in my my opinion, be the face of the city. Of course. So I've been yeah, a city yeah. clerk for going on 10 years now, and I, I love it. In I'm Aurora, or were you at a different city? I've been in Aurora since January. Okay. Before that, Welcome. I was in New Mexico for 15 years. Oh, very so, cool. So nice. city down there. So, nice. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. Absolutely. Well, hey, we, anything else I can do for you guys? No, and we appreciate you saying you appreciate us, and we appreciate your no, your professionalism and your cordial demeanor. That means a lot. Well, absolutely. Speaks volumes for your city. Well, public service is a really big uh, thing for me. So good. Um, I, my master's is in public administration. I've only ever wanted to work in local government. So excellent. If there's anything you guys suggest or have anything you'd like us to do, we're happy to. No, so far us. so good, and we hope that trickles down through your staff. I'm sure it does. Oh, it definitely does. Yeah. I have tremendous staff. So excellent. They're really, the people who keep me looking good. That's so, good. Yep. Absolutely. All right, so last card, is one of these cards yours? One of these cards is mine. It's this one right here. Great. And then we have all the council cards here. Uh, the mayor and council have separate offices upstairs, but we keep their cards down here just in case folks want to get in touch with them. All right, very good. All right. Well, I won't hold you up. I'll let you get back to your holiday party. Okay, nice Pleasure, Steve, nice and I re we really appreciate you yeah. doing a fine job. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, you have a great day. All right, take care. Nice guy. And uh, let's see, his name is Steve Ruger, city clerk. Cashier. Let's go in and see how the cashier is doing today. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing well, thank you. That smells good in here. Thank you. Somebody's got those somebody's got the good candle. Is that what that is? No, it's huh. that air diffuser. Oh, cool. Alright, we're just taking a look at your building, don't mind us. Not long to go before the holiday break, huh? Do you guys get any time off? Just the uh, Christmas day. Like Just Christmas day. day? Do you close early on Christmas Eve? Uh, no. No? Mm -hmm. No. The ladies have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, let's go into water water billing. At least it doesn't say water boarding. Although we'll find out shortly. Hi. Hello, how are you? Doing great, how are you? Doing well, thank you. They're gonna take pictures. No pictures anymore, video. What video? S Sixty pictures a second. Oh my goodness. Oh, yay. <laughs> Is this with the city or No, no, we're just walking around taking a look at your building. Yeah. All right. It's a beautiful um, building. Seems like you have a bunch of nice folks working here. We do. We yeah. Do. We're very lucky. Very cool. Sir? Do you mind uh, telling me what your name is and what you do in this department? Uh, what is this for? First name's fine. I don't need yours. Exactly uh, we're just doing a little tour of the building, video what, tour. What, what organization? No organization. This is my name's Jason. This is my son Ben. Okay, I'd rather not uh, add my name, but I keep my supervisor. Sure, that's fine. Yeah, if you prefer, though, no problem. Thank you. Our, this camera, I bought a special camera, can only make people look good, so you have nothing to worry about. Yes, sir. But you didn't enter your passport. I did, too. Did you? Look, we don't have it. It's, um, it's not here, and it's not here. The, the young lady that was here is going to get a supervisor, she said. All right. Thank you so much, though. I appreciate no that. Problem. 
So we have to do it in, in a certain amount of time, otherwise it times out. So we're going to try it on your cell phone, and if it doesn't work, we're just going to keep trying in here, okay? That's not a problem. Okay. Can we use characters on the password? You sure can. So she just gave you the bad news. There's two guys out here with cameras wanting to speak right. to you, right? It's not allowed in inside here because we have accounts up on our computers. And What's not allowed, allowed in here? That. You're not allowed to be recording in here because we have customers' information. I hope so you don't have I customers' know. information out on in the okay. public view. Is there something else we can help you with? No. Did we get off on a wrong foot for some reason? Well, I don't think so, but you're not allowed to, if you have business in here. We'd love to help you. Well, we do have business. We're doing a video tour of the building, and this is part of the building. Okay, so we, we, we just actually met with I Steve, the city manager. Okay. He knows we're here. I need to ask you to step it out in the hallway. You can ask, but I'm going to respectfully decline. I actually had a couple of questions for you. What, um, what is your question? Well, I was going to ask you, what is it specifically you do in this office? Is it just accepting water bill payments? Are there any other services that are offered here in this office? We do customer service calls, yes. We, we take phone calls for various different departments. Okay. And service our customers in the city of Aurora. Okay. All right, good. And that generally, that basically would have been my whole question. And can I just get your name since you're the supervisor? Um, I, I'm not comfortable with that. I don't understand what's here, and I was not aware. I think. Well, I introduced actually, myself. My name is Jason. I think if you talk to somebody in the in the city and they approved your presence here, I think that they probably well, would they did. have we, some kind of notification. No, we just met with Steve five minutes ago. Okay. Your well, city manager. Go, okay, let me go call him. Okay. So I think that... Uh, you're a little bit confused as to who that is, but... Uh, Steve is... The, no, I'm not confused at all. I have his business card right here. His name is Steve Ruger. He's the city clerk. I'm sorry. Uh, general management. Yeah, not the city manager, city clerk. So I was confused, yeah. does not have any authority to be giving any permission for recording Well, with all due respect, man, you don't have any authority to tell me I can't. Let me just get somebody real quick. Sure. Absolutely. What do you think it was with 10 digits? Okay, give me one second, okay? Let me go up to my computer and see if for some reason you did it and it went through. Okay. Okay? Hang on just one second. And, uh... I might have gotten on, but then... I'm getting old. I said city manager instead of city clerk. Can I close this out? Please do. Or hang on, just give me a minute. Oh, wait. Let's wait. Thank you. It's only a camera. Yeah. You know, I don't know why everybody's so... You seem very calm and relaxed and not too worried about what I'm doing. Because I'm not with the city of Aurora. <laughs> <laughs> or the water. Control. Well, I assume you live in the city of Aurora. Since you're here paying a water bill, I would assume. I'm assuming well, a lot of things. You yeah. are. Yeah. We're just trying to get some properties on automatic pay. Gotcha. There you go. I've well, I'm. Before. Oh, you've. Had, I was. I'm surprised they're giving you a problem to take your money. So one, they should make it easy on I you. Don't, yeah. I don't know why they're even changing their system, but they are. Yeah. Lots of things are changing in the world, my friend. No kidding. Which, uh, not always a good thing. I'm sorry? Um, Everyone thinks it's a good thing. They wanna, um, a lot of do they really? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we can do that then. Um. Seems that people are, uh, what's the word? A little bit on edge these days? Yeah. Which is a shame. You know, there's no reason to. My name is Jason, by the way. This is my son, Ben. I'm Doug. Pleasure to meet you, Doug. Nice meeting you guys. So we're just uh, nice to meet you. out yeah. spending some quality dad and son time together yeah. and learning the ropes together and educating ourselves every day, you know? Can you make a payment? No. I'm sorry. Okay, please give me an I'm helping somebody right now, but I'll be right with you. Thank you. Okay. Hello? What do you feel about public? photography people taking video and pictures in public 
They do, they do it all the time with the selfies. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, do you have any issue with it? Or is no. there any? No, you don't seem like you do. Right. No, oh, good. Right. Life's too short. Yep. Yeah. Do you know who the, um, the seller was? Or who the previous owner was? I remember being a kid and you'd walk down the street and if someone was fortunate enough to have a video camera, you jumped in front of it yeah. and said, hi, mom. You know, that was yeah. innocent, more, more innocent times. So you're taking videos or? Video, yeah. Those are video so you can, cameras. Yeah, you can see it on that. Huh. Boy, Those they've the gotten screen smaller. Goes. Oh, yeah, it was smaller and the quality of the video is incredible. Yeah. I still have from when I was a kid. My, I think my grandfather was the only guy in town with a camera and he had a Super 8. Mm -hmm. So we have all the 8 millimeter I, rolls at I home. Remember I got a Super 8 when we got married. There you go. And I bet you used it a lot. Right. Quite a bit. But and, and you're the only guy not yeah. in the video. Yeah. Right? Because you were behind the camera. But it's hard to get anything old anymore redone. It is. And nobody fixes anything anymore. No. I was just saying to my wife, there's no TV repair shops. There's no shoe repair no. shops. You just throw it out and get another one. Shoes are getting to be where they can hardly um, be so Right. Yeah. Uh, that. That's a shame. I don't know. And then that, that leads to people not valuing things, mm -hmm. not taking care of things like um, they used to. You know, now everybody gets a car every three, four years. When I was a kid, you bought a car and you kept it running for 20, 30 years as long as you could get out of it, you know? I still do. No, you're a smart guy. That's why you have several properties. You're trying to get on auto pay, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, and I think uh, government right. transparency and accountability is extremely important, mm -hmm. and those things shouldn't be just shushed away and swept under the rug. So what we do is we just go into we go into government buildings. We don't try to go in any restricted areas, anywhere we're not supposed to go, and we go in and video and say hello to people and shake hands and ask people what they do in their departments to get a sense of the services and. Then what do you do the videos? It are depends. You no, I don't work for anybody. I work for myself. We do we do it for ourselves, okay. and we do share them with other people. Some of them we actually put on YouTube. Um, we are big supporters of the Constitution of the United States, and I feel like the Constitution's getting a very bad rap these days, and uh, isn't valued as it used to be. Yeah. So we're trying to make the, our, our little tiny difference any way we can. Mm -hmm. Um, gentlemen, would you mind stepping on the hall? We're trying to help a customer and we can't have you recording while he's giving... Oh, I just had a wonderful conversation with your customer. Please step on the hall. Well, I, I'm not ready to go out yet, so <laughs> that's okay. Excuse me. Did you get whoever you were... We cannot, yes, he's on the way. Okay, so I'll wait for him. You can't Who am I waiting for? I'm not recording anybody's personal information, ma'am. You are recording, is that correct? I am, yes, okay, that is correct. Can't have you doing that when it comes Who am I waiting for to have this conversation with? Our manager. City manager? Not the or city Or the manager of the department? Manager of the department. Okay, and I'm sorry I'm upsetting you by asking questions, but... Well, we That's what I do when I don't do, know. If you look, we have signs all over the place that you're not allowed to be in here doing that. No, what, what do you mean? These signs say no employees beyond this point. I'm not going beyond that point. You're conducting public business. We are conducting public business, and we're not able to continue with our business over here. Sure you are. That man just wrapped his business up. He's a very cordial individual. That gentleman is trying to give personal information so we can help him. And he specifically told me he had no issue with me filming. Go ahead and have a seat. Are you listening to anything I'm saying, or are you just close-minded? I am completely listening to you. Okay. Well, I'm not going to have a seat, so I'm not listening to you. I'll, I'll wait for your department manager because your information is completely oh, okay. bogus. All right. So I suggest you just go back to work.
Ma'am, I need your name before you go in the back, please. I'm sorry. I Paula Sullivan. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Sullivan. I appreciate your transparency and accountability. I just I tried that and nothing came up under his. Good luck with her. Yeah. So Ms. Sullivan gives out bad information and refuses to identify herself. Yeah, we can, we can do this back here. Because you, you should be able to go in here and then you can designate if you're looking for a Roar Water Cares or if you're looking for okay. their, uh, the donation one. All right. Ms. Sullivan, do you want to fail to identify yourself? Are you that sure what you want to do? Okay. Is there something I can help you guys with? No, she said that the uh, somebody manager of this department is coming to speak to us, so we're just waiting for him. She, I don't know who the, do you know what their name is? The manager of your department? Um, it's uh, Michael. Michael. Michael? Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay. See, isn't that simple? I mean, we're just having a friendly conversation. There's no, I don't know why people blow things up like that. Right. My name's Jason. This is my son, Ben. Nice Might I have your first name? Claudia. Claudia. Thank you, Claudia. You seem like a very stable, normal, professional individual. and We appreciate that. Let me see if... We can get Claudia to do us a little favor here. Claudia, we're going to continue our tour of the rest of the building. Okay. Um, but I would I don't want to disappear from Michael if he's coming to speak with us. So if you could just let him know we'll be out in the main lobby, right. walking I'll around. I'd appreciate it. And thank you so much. Sure. You really, you, you, you saved the day for these guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You do the same. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello. How are you? Not well, I guess. A great representative, representative of your city, sir. Wow. One tightens up and the whole bundle goes to hell. Hi, how are you? Good, can I help you? Good, yeah, are you, but I'm just doing a little tour of the building with my son. My name's Jason. Okay. Uh, this is Ben. Hi. Are you able to tell, your name's Melinda McKenzie. I was gonna ask you your name, and if you could just tell us what you do here in this department. I'm a revenue agent. Revenue agent, mm -hmm. okay. The taxes and tax collection. Oh, the fun stuff. Yes. <laughs> Keep you up at night. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate your service and your friendly smile. Thank you so much for that. All righty, you have a good day. day. Thank you. And have a happy holiday. Spread you it too. around the office there. You too. Thank you. All right, guys, so that's how that should go. Uh, that was the tax and licensing office. Not difficult to be cordial and responsible. G4S Security, how you doing today, sir? Very good. Good. It's a beautiful lobby. Oh, some nice artwork. That's very cool. You know, there are some officers out here. Why don't we go see what they're doing? Oh, it's nice out. How we doing, guys? How we doing? Doing well, thanks. Good. Another beautiful day in Aurora. Yeah. Right? Who are you guys here for? A couple guys with cameras? Yep. Yeah, there you go. Well, we found you before you found us. Mm, I don't think so. No? no? So what's going on? Not much. Can I get you to get name and badge numbers just so I know who I'm talking to? Sure. What? How do you pronounce it? Right there, sir. Can you just tell me what you I can't see your badge number either. 
So it's V majors. Okay. And badge number? 13A. 13A. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Yeah, we don't and, know about badge you, numbers here, though. You don't? No. ID don't. numbers? Sure. Okay. There you go. And you, sir? Officer Huntsman. Huntsman? Yep. Very good. Thank you very much. And badge number? ID number? 0501. 0501. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. You, you look like the happy one out of the bunch. I am. Good. <laughs> my name is Jason. Hello, Jason. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet this you. This is my son, Ben. Hi, Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You guys on your way out? No, we're just actually doing a little tour of the building. Okay. Yeah. All right. Seems like a nice, uh, nice building and lots to take pictures of and it's visually pleasing and what organization are you guys with? None. Just myself. Okay. Yeah, that's all. All right. So would you get a call? Day. You get a call for service? We did. You did. And what yes. did they what did they tell you we were doing? Refusing to leave. They told you we were refusing to leave? Yes. Did they tell you to leave? I was asked to leave the water billing office. Yeah, that's by someone, weird. which evidently we left because I'm standing here talking to you. Right, right. Um, but I didn't leave because I was asked to leave. I left because I was done doing what I was doing. Uh, we're just doing a tour of the building. We're not going into any restricted areas, uh, anywhere we're not supposed to go. And we're just sticking to publicly accessible areas and taking some video and doing a little tour of the building. All right. Well, have a good day. And you guys, you guys probably know exactly what we're doing, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what, what, what are we doing? Who's going to win the prize? <laughs> what, are, what are we doing today? Oh, I'm not even going to get it. You, I'll tell you, you what, no. Your, you guys are on your way, so go ahead and go about your business. We're gonna Let me just tell you something. Just, just, just honestly, from one man to another, there's a lot of First Amendment audit people out there, okay, who go looking for problems and go kicking sand in people's faces and go trying to stir up a mess so they can get into a situation with you guys and that kind of thing. That's not us. There's also a bunch of guys out there doing the right thing, doing it for the right reasons and doing it well. So we like to consider that we're on the right side of the fence, just like there's some officers out there doing things they shouldn't do, and then there's some other guys out there holding the torch. All right. So we appreciate all the good guys. We appreciate all the you know people trying to help, and that's all we're doing. Okay. We're uh, believers in our Constitution, and the Constitution's been taking a beating lately. I didn't just dream this up last night. I've been involved in professional photography and video for 30 years. My rights have been violated and attempted to be violated more times than I could ever even want to imagine. Do you have a website that you post these to? No website, no. YouTube or anything? It depends. Some of them, you know, a lot of times you go out and do these things and we just archive them and keep them for ourselves. It depends if something's worthy. You know, if you decided to tase me right now, my son wouldn't film it and you'd put it on YouTube. But, if, you know, if it's a boring video, it's a boring video. Um, but we're not out trying to stir anybody up, but we're also not looking to get our rights violated. So if I feel like I'm in a publicly accessible area of a building, not causing a disturbance, not interfering with business, I don't feel that anybody would have a right to ask me to leave. All right. So that's where we're at. Do you mind at. if I get your ID real quick? Oh, so I, I mind tremendously. I, va I value the Fourth Amendment as much as the First. Well, can you give me your last name? No, no, I'm, no. I don't identify myself unless I'm lawfully required to. All right. That's all. All right, that's but that's all. all that's really all we're doing. It's that simple. Well, if you're not going to cooperate with me, I'm not going to cooperate. With I'm you explaining guys to you what I'm so doing. I'm no, I'm explaining to you what I'm doing. I'm explaining the same thing to you. I didn't ask you to cooperate so, with me. Have a good day. That's I am. I'm having a wonderful day. All righty. You guys are dismissed. You have a wonderful day yourselves. Let me ask you a question, sir. No, I'm not going to talk. No, to you. no. In all fairness, I was going to ask you. Have if, a good day. Do you want my name? Have a good day. No. Do you want me? You don't want my name anymore. Name anymore. Okay. Good. So you've 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 decided there's no threat here and there's no crime. Okay. Right. Does civility go out the window when you don't get what you want? Is that like a temper tantrum? What kind of car seat do you have? Is he your boss? You guys better start keeping an eye on each other, man. I thought you said you weren't here to... No, because that's that's disrespectful and rude. Well, it is. I and I think he's being an asshole. I think it's truth. disrespectful when you ask me what my name is, but when I ask you what yours is, you won't tell me? It's your policy to give your name when a okay. member of the public asks. Yeah. I didn't sign that contract, so. did I? And I'm trying... You know what? If, if, we, if we communicated a little better, maybe a lot of problems would go away. Okay, sir, please you know? do not follow me. I'm walking out to the parking lot. Okay. Same place you're going. 
And I'm telling you guys better start communicating with people and stop running your little tyrants because it's not the way it's going to work anymore. It's not. I'm sorry. You're very mistaken. You're not going to take care. You're not going to take advantage of people like it's not the old days, bro. So this is license plate JOY 091 8003 Aurora Police Department. And now we're going to go back into the building. I was leaving, I was done, but we'll go back inside now. Wow, these people are ridiculous. This cop is out of hand. <clears throat> Zoom in on his, uh, badge and his name tag if you can so this is Aurora police vehicle 90048 plate number BSG 103 what I said for my safety do not come any closer for your safety, don't come any close. So what? The parking lot's off limits because you're here. I don't know what you have underneath your clothing, sir. Oh, I don't know what you have under Back yours. Up, I'm walking in a public accessible area, sir. I'm not listening to unlawful directives. Okay. You could try that on somebody that gives a shit. Okay. Seriously, don't be ridiculous. I'm being very cordial with no, you. No, you weren't. Yes, I. Well, until you decided to start having an attitude. You know that badge and gun doesn't grant you extra privileges. It really doesn't. Matter of fact, it limits what you can do. So, try not to violate anybody's rights today, okay? Okay. Yeah. I don't have any. You want to you pat me down and see if I have any weapons on me? Would that you make you... allow me to pat you down? If that would make the big man no. with the gun feel better, I will. Yes, I'm I'll let done. you. You want to look. To nothing on me. No weapons, okay? But you're not going to tell me I can't walk behind you. What are you out of your mind? Yes, I can. No, you can't. For my safety. Well, then make me move. Okay. I'm challenging you. Make me move. Your boss brought this, this up. Is, this is what you guys were You talking. people bring this upon yourself with your attitudes. Yeah, this is exactly what goes on when you don't treat people correctly. And you think those little tinfoil badges and those guns you have grant you some kind of rights you don't have. It's ridiculous. Hope you could put the car seat in a lot better than you could deal with the public because you're a failure at that. Day, and stop laying threats on people and saying things you're not going to do. If you got something to do, do it. Have a good day. I am having a great day. Oh, uh -huh. I, I would have had a better day if you people could have been respectful and had a civil conversation, but I, obviously you're incapable of that. We're keeping an eye on you, man. There's a lot of us out there. Watch yourselves. Failing to identify. Whatever happened to serve and protect on your cars? You guys peeled those stickers off for some reason. Tell me I can't walk through the parking lot guys are nuts and now I'm going back in the building so have a good day guys yep. bunch of clowns create more problems than they solve after you thank you Maybe it's this way. There's a directory over there. Oh, there is? Cool. In fear for his safety. Um, you see anything that says city manager? Oh, office of the city manager, fifth floor. There you go. What was his name, Paula Sullivan? Yep. All right, let's go see the city manager and see if uh, he agrees with Miss Sullivan's opinion of how things are supposed to be. So there we have finance. Uh, Oh, here we go. 5,900 down this way, right here. Huh. 
Hi, how are you? How are you? Doing well, thank you. Is the city manager available by any chance? Mm -hmm. I believe so. Let me check. Thank you. You're Natasha? That's me. My name's Jason. Hi, Jason. Thank you. That's a nice view outside. Yeah, I just went out there. That's cool. Wow, that's nice. Beautiful. I can see the buildings out in Denver. Stephanie, do you think I can just poke my head in the door and just see if she's going to be able to get somebody for us or not? So I'm we. Not sure. She's right in that office right there. They're working on it. Do you know if the city manager is available? No, he's not. He's not available. Oh, so what would I be waiting for then? Is there a deputy city manager? Assistant's got to be back up here. Oh, okay. That's that's great. And what is their name? Her name is Colleen. Colleen. Okay. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Appreciate your help. Colleen. All right. Well, let's wait for Colleen. Hello. Are you Colleen? I am. You are? Okay. So you're the assistant to the city manager? I am. Okay. We were just speaking to Stephanie and she oh, said that. Okay. So I was actually hoping to speak with the city manager for a moment, but if he's, I guess he or she is not available. He's in a meeting. He's in a meeting. So is there, are we able to speak to you for a minute? Uh, I think somebody from communications was going to come out. Oh, okay. Cause Stephanie has said Colleen. So yeah, I was. It was just something very quick. Just I don't want to take too much of anybody's time. Do you want to have a seat, please? How, do you have any idea how long it'll be? No, but I don't think it'll be very long. Okay, because I just don't want to sit here indefinitely. We want to continue what we're doing and right. get out of your hair. Right. And, um, so if you want to have a But seat, if you're the please. assistant city manager, I can't... I'm, I'm his uh, assistant. So oh, not... administrative assistant. Yes. I got yes. you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Okay. And the person coming up is who? Someone from communications. From communications. Mm -hmm. So would it be like your uh, information? I don't know who it will be yet. Person? I okay. Don't. Okay. But All if right. you'd like to have a seat, can I get you a glass of water? I just actually just finished this. I was going to ask if there was a garbage can around somewhere so um, I can get rid of this. I'll, I'll take it. Uh, we have a recycle. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Are you the communications person I that am. we were waiting I'm for? I'm Lori. Hi, Lori. My name is Jason. Nice to meet you, Jason. Nice to meet you. This is my son, Ben. Hi, nice Ben. To nice to meet you. So we are here at your beautiful building for the first time. Right. Never been here before. Right. And we are doing a video tour of the building. Okay. Uh, not looking to go into any restricted areas anywhere. We're not supposed to go. Just publicly accessible areas of the building. Right. Uh, we were in your water billing department downstairs. I don't know if you've been briefed on any of this, if no. you know what's going on. So we were in the water billing department downstairs. And I believe the woman's name was Paula Sullivan. Okay. Um, Everybody else in there was fine. I was actually speaking to one of the customers. We had a nice conversation with an older gentleman. You can tell by my white hair I'm getting there. So we were having a little conversation about the old days. Nice guy. I uh, said hello to a couple of the other workers in there. Everything was fine. Uh, Paula came out, if I'm getting her name correctly, Miss okay. Sullivan, and told us that we were not allowed to be in there with our cameras because there was sensitive information that could be recorded, okay. which I don't understand because sensitive information shouldn't be laying out in public view. Right. So I don't think that's the case. Uh, we're not looking to record anybody's sensitive information anyway. Right. Um, and then she also told us that there were signs up saying that we could not be in there with cameras when the signs actually just said employees only passed this point, didn't okay. even mention cameras. Right. Uh, so I just wanted to clarify with the city manager's office right. that we are allowed into publicly accessible areas of the building to film. Correct. Um, and that there was no, she actually called the police on us. So we had the Aurora Police Department show up because we're, I'm with my son taking video in a municipal building, which is ridiculous to me. I don't understand what the theory is behind that. Uh, we spoke to your security guard. Mm -hmm. We actually met Steve Ruger, yes, uh, the, city the city clerk, clerk, had a very nice conversation with him for about five minutes. Right. Had a one, other than Miss Sullivan, had a wonderful experience at your building. Okay. Uh, so I just want to confirm with being that this is the top, we just want to confirm with this office that we are in the right and we're allowed to roam around the building in publicly accessible areas publicly with our cameras. Accessible. I don't know specifically where you were in their office within that area. In the yes. lobby, just but in, in the public, lobby. Publicly accessible areas, absolutely. So if, if as long as we were not in a restricted area, correct. Ms. Sullivan was incorrect. Correct. Okay. Um, so in order to avoid any issues with her going forward, is there any way maybe you could just give her a call down there and just let her know that it is okay what we're doing as long as we don't go into any restricted areas? 
Uh, we're not impeding business. We're not causing a disturbance. We actually don't even speak to each other when we're doing this to try to. <laughs> yeah, so we're not causing any problems. Do you want me to just walk down with you? That would be fantastic okay. if you could. Yeah, thank you so much. And I'm sorry, your name again? I'm Lori. Lori. Okay, Jason, I have a ter terrible memory with names. <laughs> I'll remember your face forever, but your name will escape me. Oop. Thank you, Lori. No, it's a beautiful building, and you know, and it's it's nice to leave with a good feeling about everybody, and it's nice right. to know we have happy people working at our municipal buildings, and everything right. is fine and dandy, huh? How are you doing, gentlemen? Good. How are you? Good. Well, now that we've got Lori by our side, we're great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't be better. Oh. Okay. So do you have another meeting? Are we going to one? Yeah, go to one. You want? You got a minute? <coughs> yeah. Scoot out of the way here. Almost a camp yeah. meeting. Okay. So, yeah. Your office? Sure. I'm gonna throw this. You up. gotta go to one of those in San Francisco. It'll be a month long meeting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Have a good day, guys. Yeah, no, we were over. He's hitting every floor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Gives us more time with you. So we actually went to uh, your police department. They were very cordial. Everybody was very nice. Right. Yeah. And what did they tell you? Oh, we just went in and said hello, and we actually oh. filled out a uh, combination form. And okay. Yeah, just okay. walking around trying to be friendly and do a little okay. video tour of the building. That's all. All right. They didn't have any issue with us being there. Here's Miss Sullivan now. I didn't know they said they were filming in a public area. Those two gentlemen right there. Correct. Okay. Yes. yes. But if it's in a public area, they're allowed to be there as long as well, they aren't back with. No, um, because in the water billing department, the gals up front have customer information up on their computers. Okay. And we had a customer in there who was trying to set up an account online, which contained sensitive information. Okay. And they were recording, and that we couldn't have that gentleman. Let me just tell you about that. I had a conversation with a gentleman in there. That's true. We recorded the whole thing. We had a wonderful conversation. I just told you about that upstairs. He right. never asked me not to record. I even asked him, do you have a problem with me recording? He said, no, not at all. So my other concern is, which is more concerning to me, Ms. Sullivan, if you have private sensitive information out available to public view, you need to create privacy for that and keep that out of the public view. It's not, the onus is not on me to avoid filming it we do but nobody comes in and records that while we're having those conversations with our customers well i did and other people may and it's perfectly within our rights and i'm lori here is here to tell you that that's okay well i don't know if specifically where you were located i'd be happy to area, show you and i don't know the monitors were we were, were we in a publicly in public areas you're allowed to. so miss sullivan can answer that were we in a publicly accessible area the whole time well, of course it's a publicly accessible area so we're allowed to However, film there when we're trying to get personal, these customers are giving their financial information. Actually, that's not true. You actually told the customer that was sitting there that those computers don't accept sensitive information. No. He had to go to your desk in the back to do that because that's he couldn't do that at the... Said. At the moment, when they were trying to help him with it, the system went down on that kiosk. That's, that's not what you said. It's all recorded. Be okay, careful well, what you, you say. Can, okay, go okay. ahead and you can listen to But so at the end of the day, and I don't want to argue with you. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm with my son. We're here in a municipal, beautiful municipal building that the taxpayers spent a lot of money on. We're visiting each one of the offices. We're not singling you out. And we are perfectly within our rights to be doing that. Now, for you to call the police on a citizen with his son for being in a public area doing something, which is not only am I allowed to do it, it's a constitutionally protected right. Okay, so for you to stop me from videoing in that office would be violation of my rights. And you don't want to do that. And I think Lori understands that. And we're not looking for anybody's sensitive information. I'll leave that to you, Lori. No, I mean, I would be happy to take you in sure. your office. Sure, let's go see where we were. And yeah. I'll show you exactly Absolutely. how this issue before. And now. you guys uh, sure have fun reviewing that tape there. It's a good read. Okay. 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 So this is where the girls have their 
computers. Well, the problem is they're on phone calls and they're taking sensitive information over the phones. And if they're recording that, basically what they're doing is they're they're basically taking our citizens' information. They're pri yeah, private well, that's information. that's your opinion, but that's a, that's a subjective it's not opinion. opinion. Yes, it is. It's a fact. This is a publicly accessible BCL office, ma'am. In a phone call right now. That's fine. They're giving, they're giving out their phone number, they're giving out their account number, and sometimes they're giving out other sensitive information. Right. We so what you should be more worried about is the person that comes in here with a recording device that you're not seeing that's trying to secret you know themselves. So you don't listen very well. I'm you like to speak, to, but you don't listen. I'm going you're to let wrong. You work that out with Lori. You're wrong, and you're going to work it out with Lori, and Lori's going to inform you that I am allowed to be here in videotape, and once that conversation is completed, I will then leave. How about I'm that? I'm going to defer that to Lori. But they are, this is an area where they are talking with customers and their sensitive information. If you were back here and you can't hear things and you can't see things on the screen. There's no delineation like that, ma'am. This, if you have information or business being conducted that's that private and that sensitive, you take people to the back and you create privacy. You don't do that in a public area. There is no expectation of privacy in a public area. That's ridiculous. If you want privacy, you go home, you close your blinds and you lock the door. And that's the way it is. This is a public building. We pay for this building. You pay for this building. Okay. I'm going to let you take care of that. With the well, you need an office? education. You need to find out that okay. you're wrong okay. instead well, of being closed-minded. <laughs> because when I'm wrong, I love to admit I'm wrong. And if you can prove me wrong, I'll shake your hand. I'll tell you I'm wrong, and I'll apologize to you. Okay. And I, I would expect I, the same I from you. I will absolutely follow up with Lori if I need that education. You do need that education. I can tell you that right now because you're incorrect. You're telling people things that are... You actually wasted police resources and called the police for somebody that was not breaking the law and further is doing a, protect, a constitutionally protected activity. Okay. And you chose to call okay. the police and put my life and my son's life in jeopardy because of your feelings. And that is unacceptable, and I don't think the city manager would accept that either, Lori. Can we go out in the lobby for a moment? And we can yes, because you've been, more than, you've been more than civil with us, so absolutely. So I don't know specifically um, what what their directions have are in there or the policy, but I, what I can tell you is I will talk with the um, city To cut manager. to the chase, I'll tell you what it is. She just doesn't want us in there. She has personal feelings about that. Well, I don't, I don't know that. And, that. and her personal feelings do not trump my rights. They don't trump your rights. Feelings are feelings. And if she doesn't want to be on video, and she doesn't want people in her department, our department, taking video, then right. she should find a job in the private sector and not be in a public building. Right. Um, you didn't have an issue. No. No. Neither you, did anybody else in the entire building. Do you have contact information that I could um, follow up with you? I can have a discussion with, um, I believe her supervisor and the city manager's office and I can get back. I will absolutely give you my contact information, but I want to leave here knowing that Paula Sullivan is not going to ask people to leave her office when she has no right to do that. I'll talk with her supervisor. That's what I can say. And I thought she was the supervisor. Um, well, she has a supervisor above her. So we I all do. I yeah, we all do. I have a wife at home. <laughs> and you know what? I might so say, I and I don't, I don't want you to seem like I got upset, but I get, no, 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 I get very direct I when put in that sort of a position. Of course. If she was right, and I'm a man of my word, I would have shaken her hand and said, you know what, Ms. Sullivan, you're absolutely right. I'm right. wrong. I apologize. I'm here setting an example for my son. So I'm certainly not looking to do anything immoral or illegal or anything that's not proper. Um, but this right. is our building. This right. is the people's building. Right. And this is our office. Right. And there is no sensitive information being conducted at those counters that the public can't hear. Right. Because if I walked in without this camera, I'm going to hear the same conversations whether I have it or not, and I could have my phone in my pocket recording. Nobody would even know. I'm wearing a bright red vest. I'm not trying to secret myself. We're being very cordial and polite with everybody. You can ask everyone else we spoke to. So I really need to leave here today knowing that she understands that she's in the wrong and that if I want to go into that office and record, I can. Okay. So either I have to go back in there and do that or you need to let her know that. <laughs> okay. And then I'll get out of your hair and then I'll leave. And it is to prove a point. It absolutely is because, and I'm not asking your political beliefs or any right. of your things like, I don't, I'm not going there. Wouldn't put you in that position. Right. But from my position, I turned 50 years old yesterday. Okay, I remember a different world. Right. And our rights in this country are being eroded faster than I can even keep up with. Okay, so what we're doing to boil it all down in a nutshell to what it is, is exercising our rights because rights are like muscles. And if you don't exercise them, they go away. Okay. And when I was a young boy, I went into a dentist's office. I'll never forget it. He had a big poster up on the wall, and it said, ignore your teeth, and they'll go away. Okay. 
And that's the truth. So we go out, we exercise our rights in a friendly way until we come across somebody like Ms. Sullivan, then things sometimes go awry and things escalate and that's not where it should be. We should come in and have handshakes and smiles and friendly. If somebody doesn't want to be videoed, they can always go in the back in the break room or something. We're here for five minutes, we leave. Right. But to tell a citizen that they're not allowed into that office right. is a little bit, I don't even know what the word is. Yeah, and I don't, I think, my guess is the intent isn't that she's telling you you're not allowed in that office. I think she's concerned about the cameras and potential. I don't concerns. think that's her concern at all. Because nobody else is concerned about that. The police department's not concerned about that. Right. You know, in no other office. I went into uh, Steve Ruger's right. office and had a nice, friendly conversation with him. He's all for what we're doing, supports it 100%. Right. So that was the first place I went to try to get that conversation going, make people aware we're here. But to call the police on me, really, to call the police on me and look for a way to what? Try to get me arrested or try to get me in trouble because I'm here with my son taking video in a public building? Mm -hmm. I find that offensive. I think that's extremely offensive and there's no private information going on. And I could show you, I'm gonna, before I leave, I'm gonna tell you where you can see this video, okay? Okay. So you'll be able to review it and you're gonna see the customer she was talking about. I had a very nice conversation with him. I told you about it upstairs. Right. And I specifically said to him, you don't seem like you have any problem with me with the camera, do you? And he said, no, not at all, what do I care? And if he did, I would have said, okay, sir, have a nice day, bye. Okay. So the only human being in this building that had any issue with us taking video in this building is Paula Sullivan. And Paul Sullivan's not a dictator. So, you know, the rules aren't adjusted by Paula's mood that day. So she's got to understand that. And it's not, it might seem like a, a, a petty arguing point, because what do I really need to be in there taking video for? But I told you, it's an exercise of rights. Right. You know, that's important. And people will say to me, she said to me, well, did you call first? Did you get permission? You know, did Rosa Parks call the bus company that morning and say, is it okay if I sit in the front seat today? Right. Civil disobedience gets things done. Marching in line doesn't. And that's all we're doing. Right, I hear that's you. That's it. I and you seem like a very reasonable person. I think you do get it. Yeah. Um, so what if um, I can, and again, her supervisor isn't here, so I can't um, give her specific direction. What I can tell her is about if you um, go in and you make the statement, ask people if they're comfortable being filmed, can they let you know? And then you can turn off your camera, but otherwise she would. Well, even, you know what, though? Even if somebody is uncomfortable, I would do that because that's just the kind of guy I am. Right. But I'm not obligated to do that. And no. there is not that, there, that sensitive information is not being passed at that desk. There is nothing that sensitive that I'm going to record on that desk. If you have sensitive information on computer screens, then you should put those privacy protectors over the screen so right. they can only be seen from right in front. If you want privacy in public, you have to create it. I hear what you're saying. There is no expectation of privacy in public. You know, we don't go into people's living rooms and do this. This is a public building. So the whole point of what we do, so if I just left right now mm -hmm. and allowed Ms. Sullivan to throw me out of her office, I would leave here a defeated person when I'm in the right and she would also be left to treat somebody else the same way another day and another time and it could be somebody who doesn't have fantastic communication skills not saying that I'm do I do could be somebody whose English is a second language could be somebody that's got hearing issues or speech issues and may not be able to right stand up to that right. you know it's a little bit of bullying and uh, uh, basically what I went in there same as every other office I went I was just gonna ask her may I have your first name mm -hmm. and can you tell us a little bit about what you do here in this department mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much have a nice day that's it but she decided to call the police on us so I think that takes things up a notch <laughs> I understand. don't you think I hear what you're saying I am I don't think I can resolve that for you today I well have you have conversations with um, I think you manager and with her supervisor Okay. And, and get back to you and that's um, reasonable and let you know um, that it's been addressed and what the outcome is and I think that's well there's only one outcome right the only outcome can possibly be and I think you know that I'm not putting you on the spot and it's no, a rhetorical no, I statement under, I understand. but I think you know that we're allowed to go in there and film right I understand so if, the, if that seems reasonable to you that I have a conversation with her supervisor and with the city manager and I get back to you and let you know the outcome of that then Okay, so if, that, if it can't be resolved on your end today, then I'm just going to go back in there for a few minutes, take some video for a few minutes so okay. that I wasn't rushed out. Correct. And then we'll leave out of our own accord, and okay. I will give you my contact information. Okay. Okay. That, that'd be great. You want to go over to the security desk, and I'll write it down for you? Yeah, that'd sure. be great. Actually, and here's my card, too. I'll give that to you as well. Excellent. So. And it's important stuff. It may not seem important to one person, you know, but it, it, it's important to everyone. 
No, I, I absolutely understand that. Um, you guys find anything you could get me for? Do you have a piece of paper by chance? No sense of humor. Ever since I got this white beard, everybody looks at me with a smile. I don't know what it is. All right, so what I'm going to give you is my email address. Okay. Um, and this is also, so that's my email address. Amagansett is a village on Long Island in New York. Uh, so it's amagansettpress at gmail.com. Okay. And if you go onto YouTube, the name of my channel is Amagansett Press. Okay. Okay, so you can find that as All well. Right. And here's my card also. So I will, like I said, I'll have Lori a Lori McKenzie. Okay. I'll have a conversation. But it's very important, and I am going to follow up with you. And we I need understand. to know. And, you know, it, 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 normally these things are in and out five minutes, and right. I don't get that kind of a reaction. No, I You'll understand. look at my videos and see that we're very cordial. We're very professional. We're very respectful. We have wonderful interactions with people from city managers to police chiefs to right. so as there are a bunch of videos up there you could look at now before this one is up yeah. a day or two yeah no I understand and um, you know it's probably just a point of clarification and I I really do think that their intent was just to um, protect customers privacy but um, and they, I, I do hear what you're saying completely you know what though they should and I agree with that they should protect customers privacy but the right way right. not by jeopardizing somebody else's rights you don't break one thing to fix something else right you know what i mean i understand all right Very so much. i'm just going to get back to you and you have my card okay excellent and i appreciate your cordial demeanor and your oh. professionalism and your <laughs> smile no we really do it means a lot okay Very it means nice a lot to meet you. thank you so much lord nice to meet you too bad. and just to be clear so like we told you i'm going to go back in there for five minutes three minutes whatever it is we'll okay. film for a few minutes i'm saying this in front of your security officer here so he knows and then we'll be out of your hair okay and just please know though that if there are customers in there that are uncomfortable just please respect their rights and um Maybe don't film them. You know what? I, I always do oh, that, right. but now I'm standing on principle. Okay. And I've been put in that position by Miss Sullivan. So that's how one person's, I don't want to say ignorance because that's an ugly word, but one person's lack of education or training or knowledge can create something that doesn't need to be. So the best way to avoid that stuff is to have everybody be very clear on what the rules are, what the right. boundaries are, which I am. I've been doing this for a very, very long time. 50 years old, never been in handcuffs in my life. I'm not ready to start today. Right. And that's what it is. It's probably a new experience for them in there, and we'll get some clarification, and I'll get back to you. Right, and, you know, communication. If she would have just said to me, hey, listen, what are you doing? And I would have explained myself. I explained myself to you. I have no problem. I'm even telling you who I am. Right. You know, there's some guys that go out and do what we do that are all secretive about who Correct. they are. And, different animal right. you know you can't judge the whole herd from one right. one cow or whatever one horse or whatever it is all right all right i've so taken thanks. enough of your time laurie thank you very much all right thank bye bye and my name is jason sir just so you doing, know sir have a nice day i'm you, busy so you're too busy for a handshake yes that's not a gentlemanly thing to do you're yeah. gonna leave me uh, you're gonna leave me hanging out in the wind i'm yeah. trying to be a nice guy and be civil okay. with you handshake thank you have sir nice what was your first name bob bob my name is jason this is my son ben you have a wonderful day bob you too. What are your I just told you, it's Jason. Jason? See? Okay. Instead of getting upset, you got to listen up. We're, 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 not here for, we're not here to cause any problems, Bob. All right, it may seem that way to you, but you'll realize that I we're not. I'll take the side of caution, so. Oh, and you should. That's your job. Yep. That's your job, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But what we do is we, we are firm. Uh, I've already heard your spiel here, so thank uh, you. Spiel? Now that's insulting. Yeah. No, it doesn't. All right, well, you have. You have it means play. All right, well, I'll throw it one back at you. Play. All right, you, you, have fun, you, you have fun sitting on your rear end all day. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. Yep. It's the smiling Claudia. My, my favorite person in this office. <laughs> How do we recommend you for supervisor? You don't. No? You, you don't want it, right? <laughs> well, there's nobody in here, right? No customers, no sensitive information. You guys That's can a good film thing. in here all you want as long as you're not filming our monitors or eavesdropping on our phone conversations. And who are you, might I? Susan. Susan. My name is Jason. If you could just Oh, I can't see that. I can't see it. Okay. I promise you, we're not looking for anybody's right. personal information. I have enough keeping track of my own. Okay. So just so long as you're not filming anything on our monitors and you're not 
Yeah. Well, you have privacy screens customers. on there. It looks black from where I'm standing. If there's customers coming in, if you wouldn't mind just stepping out into the lobby. Might I, may I ask what your position is here? I'm the lead supervisor. Okay. So you are you Miss Sullivan's supervisor? I am her equal. You're her equal. Okay. So how is it that you're so much more educated on what we're allowed to do? <laughs> I'm not more educated. Better, better training or just, no? No, no I'm not more educated, but right Well, you are. You just came out and said that we're welcome to film. Because you are welcome to film. We don't have a sign up. Right. We're not Well, even if there's, and there's not, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not looking for anybody's personal information, but even if there were people here, that would not trample my rights. I still have rights to I'm come into the building. Right. Rights, but when people come in and they expect to have privacy and confidentiality. Well, then you know what you do? Then you take them into the back in a conference room and you create privacy. This is a public but area. You're then violating our right to do our business. No, not at all. There's, there is no expectation of public, of privacy in public. How do you create privacy in public? Okay. No, it is, it is true. No, and I just want you to understand that. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. It's a, it's a public area. Thank you. So there is no privacy. Right. Right? Thanks. Now, I wouldn't go into your living room and videotape anything. That's good. But this is a public building. Uh-huh. That's all. All right. Yeah. All right. And I appreciate you. I wish you would have stuck with the first statement that you said, because that's the truth. We can come in and videotape. I, and I, You can do whatever you want, as long as it's not violating. Well, I can't do whatever I want, but it's, Yeah. Well, no, but you're, it, the onus is on you to protect people's privacy. It's not on me to avoid filming it. That would it be like asking me to not look at somebody when they're in here. I can, you can't, whatever my eyes can do, my camera can do. That's the way the law works. That's the way it is. You know, and just a bit of advice, and then I'm going to leave and get out of your hair because I can tell you're not enjoying this conversation. So the next time somebody comes in with a camera, shake their hand, say hello, tell them what you do with this office, and they'll turn around and leave. But when you escalate things, once things escalate, it's hard to bring them back down. Okay, so it's good professionalism. To just Claudia is a model for how people should behave in this office. And I really commend her for her behavior, seriously. Okay? But just, I really want you guys to understand, and it's important. It may not seem important to you, but it is. Because we live in a country where our rights are being eroded daily. Okay? In more ways than I can even keep up with. And it affects you, your family, your children, my family. This is my son. Okay, so we're out trying to do the right thing. We're not up to any nefarious activities. We're not trying to cause anybody any problems. I've had not had an issue with anybody else in the building. But it's important that you know these things because Paula called the police on us. Thank you, Brad. You know? I appreciate it. Well, and I'm educating myself, too. I'm learning every day. But call, Paula called the police on me and my son for being in a public building taking video. That's a waste of resources. Those guys are here for no reason. All right, I'm going to let you go because I don't think my words are landing on the airstrip anyway. But something for you to think about. Lori from upstairs at the uh, city manager's office has the information of where you can see the video if you're interested. No, I'm not. Thank you, though. All right. Have a good day. Well, not interested in anybody's rights either, I guess, huh? No? Not interested in what you have to say. Not interested in what I have to say. Why didn't you tell me that before I said it? You let me waste all my breath. I feel like you would have said it anyway. All right. Well, we're going to come back more and more frequently and see you guys then, since you're not interested in what we have to say. Thank you. All righty. Have a wonderful day. Just realize we are allowed in, though, anytime we want. And you, you know that. You couldn't stop me. Have a good day, guys. It's a shame that a couple of people have to ruin it for everybody. Well, it feels good to get out here and get some fresh air. It's getting a little stuffy in there. Um, all right, guys, this has been the I mean, interesting visit. That's all I can say. Uh, we're going to follow up with Lori. Um, let's see. I have Lori's card here somewhere. Okay, so. The woman that we spoke to at the end, uh, Lori, is the manager of integrated communications and marketing. Her name is Lori McKenzie. Um, and if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns you'd like to express to Lori, her phone number is 303-739-7569. Um, and again, please, as I always say, uh, do not call up and be disrespectful. No yelling, no cursing, uh, no being rude. If you're going to call up, Please call up exclusively for the purposes of redress and uh, keep all conversations business-like and professional. 
and uh, feel free to give these guys a call and let them know what you think. Uh, we're going to follow up. We'll come back. We'll visit with them again. And uh, we'll follow up with Lori. She said she's going to email us. If I don't hear back from her right after the holidays, we will follow up and come back and see her again. Um, so that's it. That's the Aurora Municipal Center here in Aurora, Colorado, guys. And uh, we're going to call this one for now. So comment. Let us know what you think. Um, share your thoughts with us. We always love to hear your opinions. And uh, that's going to do it for today. So coming to you from the Aurora Municipal Center in Aurora, Colorado. Watching a Watchman. Amagansett Press. Catch you on the next one, guys. Out.